Okay, I'm here to talk about the ammeter. And of course, you know the ammeter is used to measure currents. Um, we have different types of ammeters with different scales. And this particular ammeter has the 0 to 3 scale. And of course, these are the terminals. This is the negative terminal and the positive terminal of this particular ammeter. And the negative terminal is always in black and the positive is always in red. So most ammeters you see, they might not indicate this minus sign here to make you know that this terminal is negative, and they might not indicate this plus sign here to make you know that this is a positive terminal. So let me show you an example of um, such ammeters. This is the perfect example of that type of ammeter. The ammeter here has a scale of zero to five, that's the range of value. Then the terminals are, you see, it's not even indicated, but you will know that, okay, since this is the black one, this is the negative, and this is the red one, this should be the positive, contrary to the one I showed you at first, whereby the negative was on the left, which is black, and the positive was on the right, which is red. But here, negative is now on the right, and the positive on the left-hand side. That is one thing you should know. And there are different scales. I have another one here with a different scale and this is also a very uh, good ammeter because it is stated here that this is negative and is on black and positives are here and why this is a double scaled ammeter it has a lower scale and an upper scale so the, the upper scale is 0 to 1 and it's indicated on this particular terminal and the 1 is indicated here actually and the lower scale is 0 to 3 and is indicated on this particular terminal so if you want to use if you have a question and you, the instruction in that question is that you use a zero to one ammeter it means you are connecting your wire on first of all the negative terminal then when you are done you connect after connecting the negative terminal then you also connect on the one ampere terminal because it said zero to one so when you connect them you are going to check your readings on the upper scale which is zero to one but if you have another question where they said you need a 0 to 3 ampere, it means you connect first on the negative and then you connect on the 3 where you have your 3. So in this terminal, when you connect your wire, you're going to look at the lower scale to get your readings. Because 0 to 3, and you have 0 to 3 here. So that's why this particular type of ammeter always comes in handy. Now let's see how we can make our connections. Let's see how to test the ammeter to see if it's faulty we can use our batteries so let's see this ammeter and let's check at least we will know the right connection so let me connect my wires to the negative and the second wire to the positive remember this is zero to three ampere so we know that this is fixed this is not a double scaled um, ampere so let me connect my wires you know how to connect your wires you loosen up fix the wire and then you screw up tightly so i'm going to fix this naked part of the wire into that part i loosened up and i'll screw tightly Then, do the same thing here. See, I'm going to loosen it up and I'll fix the wires in between and I will tighten it up. So, so tighten it up. So, I want to check if this ammeter is faulty. So, let's see. And it even has zero error. But let's just see if it's going to work anyway. So, um, I'm going to use my battery and for your battery you have um, a negative terminal and a positive terminal so this is negative and this terminal is positive so let's see if it's going to work but don't, don't forget that for the negative terminal you are connecting the negative terminal of the battery to the negative of this ammeter don't do it the other way around if you do it the other way around it will deflect this way so negative connects with negative and positive connects with positive. So, so fix my battery and connect the wires and see. See, see the deflection is deflecting to the right hand side. It shows that this ammeter is not faulty. It's working perfectly well. So uh, let's see another ammeter. Let's see how we can do the same thing. Okay, I have this one. So this is perfect, no zero errors. See, the indicator is sharp. So I connect again and see if this one is faulty. 
the same way I did the previous one. So, as you can see, the same method of connection and this zero to three ampere. Let's try that battery again. Remember, negative goes to the negative and positive goes to the positive. So don't forget, this is negative terminal black, positive terminal red. So connect the batteries, fix, and yo -wa. So as you can see, it's deflecting also. Okay, that's it. So uh, we are going to look at the voltmeter in our next video. Good day.